Hi guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to the channel. And today, we are still gonna get some writing done. <laughs> There's nothing new actually. We're just gonna keep writing. <laughs> I was supposed to do laundry today, but I realized I have a lot of things to do. I have a lot of editing to do, both manuscript and author tube content. I also have Promptober, so I will be doing my laundry tomorrow before we leave. I just finished breakfast with my son, and right now we're gonna go and do one one thing, and that's to pay the water bill. <laughs> She's been waiting for it ever since last night, and I. I promise her that I will buy today. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and pay the water bill, and when I return, we're gonna go ahead and start writing. I can't wait because I am so pumped up today. I really, really am. I'm just so in the mood to write. Um, I think I, I slept on the right side of the bed last night. I think that's why. But anyway, let's get right into it. Heavy. Alright, so I am done working <laughs> But I'm not yet gonna write because I still have to do something with Instagram I forgot to do this a while ago, but now I have to do it Today's Friday It's October 4th and Friday means author follow loop on my Instagram If you don't know what that is Were you living under a rock? <laughs> Follow loops are what creators do in order to connect with one another, to support one another and I host one on my Instagram and it's such a fun way to support other writers, authors, and creators, any artists and like I said, it's a fun way to connect and to support them because it's a fun way to connect and support with other artists and just give them all your love and I do that every Friday so that's why I just write it because it's the end of the working week and also follow starts with F and Friday starts with F so that fits right? <laughs> I'll do that real quick on my Instagram and then after that we will finally get to writing. <laughs> I am still I am still yet to decide when I'm gonna send a chapter to my beta readers because right now I just want to write just want to write and write and just write the whole day without any kind of editing but I now have to edit the chapter because I'm gonna send one to my beta readers so um, yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and host a follow loop on Instagram I'm actually gonna do a live one on Instagram so I could you know hopefully my fellow writers are online and they get to see the live you know broadcast because I want to do like a question and answer thing on Instagram <laughs> Because I just reached 500 followers and that's a milestone and in, to celebrate that milestone, why not, you know, host a live stream on Instagram and I'm gonna go and just do Instagram stuff and then when I return here, you'll see me writing. Okay, so I just finished my live stream and I had such a good time. Uh, Cecil and Valky actually joined me on my live stream. They are amazing writers. I'm gonna link their socials. I'm gonna link their Instagram so you will know who I'm talking about. And they're awesome. 
Valky is actually from the Philippines, same as me, and I'm very, very thankful that he he was awake. I am very, very um, happy to be able to meet that to meet this writer. Um, and we also spoke our language on the live stream, and Cecil was kind enough to understand. Um, being able to meet you know fellow writers that lives in the same country as you is. It's an awesome feeling because sometimes, you know, I would think that most writers, you know, live in other countries. And I, I didn't want to think that way, but if you're going to look at it, most of them are. But for me to be able to meet, you know, fellow Filipino writers and they're in the same country as me, it's awesome, you know. And should we meet other Filipino authors, you know, we might even, you know, start our own, like, group and just have this, like, a yearly meetup, you know, write somewhere, you know, have a writing convention of some sorts. Um, but I do hope we get to meet more Filipino writers, and I'm very, very excited for that. That's going to be one of my goals, is to be able to meet Filipino writers, and then when we are, you know, considered many, <laughs> or you're a lot, um, we can start our own writing conventions, you know, just go to a cafe and write together as one big writing family. <laughs> I'm gonna give my son a bath and then I'm gonna also pre start preparing for lunch. It's um, it's actually 10.08 here and the usual time that I prepare for lunch is 10.30 but I'm gonna prepare it early today so I could have more writing done. Earlier lunch, more writing time, more words, awesome! <laughs> also I will, I will do another live stream tonight on Instagram for my other writer friends that live outside the Philippine area. So, so yeah, I'll see you guys later! Right, so it's currently 11.01 and I've just finished my first session of writing. I have written 702 words in a span of 30 minutes. I think that's, uh, that, that's progress. I do hope that I still have this energy to write until after lunch. After lunch is the hardest time of the day to write because you just finished your lunch, you finished eating, and you just want to sleep and lay down and watch talking kitty videos all day. <laughs> so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and get my son. He's actually outside. He's taking a bath outside. It's like a little swimming pool. And then after that, we're gonna have lunch. And I'm gonna rest a bit and hopefully I will still be awake. I am planning also that after lunch, um, I will be editing the other videos for authortube because I really need to get another video out tonight it's just so everything is you know up to date on the channel and then I have to post tomorrow before leaving I have a lot on my plate guys <laughs> when I get back hopefully I will be writing <laughs> hopefully hopefully fingers crossed hopefully I will be writing when I get back <laughs> hopefully <laughs> this is lunch and they are waiting I tried my best to stay awake, but I actually took a nap. <laughs> I just took a one hour nap and that's fine. And my goal is to keep working until 5 p.m. Um, we're going to do the Brandon Sanderson way. <laughs> so yeah, and then by 5 to 10, I'm not gonna work, I'm just gonna spend time with my family. And then by 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., I'm gonna keep writing. <laughs> writing until 2 a.m. isn't ideal because we're gonna leave tomorrow, but I have to work, I have to keep working, and I'm still yet to send a chapter out to my beta readers. <laughs> My goal is just to finish prompt 4 
today if I can and if I can't if I can just finish prompt two or three it's fine at least I get prompt one done my goodness the fourth day of October and I'm very very behind so yeah so let's get back to writing Alright, so I have uh, 1,500 written for prompt 1 today and I'm happy where it's going although, like I said, I don't think this one would be a short story so once I hit the 7,500 work mark for prompt 1, I will stop there I do hope that it goes well the same way it is for prompt 1 I think I'm gonna go lay down, I'm, so, I'm still a bit sleepy it's the time of the day where I usually get my rest, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, rest my brain. I'm not sure what I put here on the document is my best work, but at least there is something. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down, and if I sleep, then I sleep. If I don't, then I'll just go back to writing this thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down with my son. I'll see you guys. I didn't sleep! Actually, I didn't sleep. I just played games on my phone and then I edited for one hour for author two. Now I'm gonna go back to writing. I'm going to start with prompt two so everything can go on a roll. I am very, very happy as well to see that the author follow loop on Instagram is going great. Everyone is supporting one another. Everyone is talking with one another. It's just great. This one's an awesome follow loop. Every follow loop is awesome. <laughs> Go ahead and write prompt two. I am trying for prompt two. I'm gonna go ahead and write 1,500 for the first part, and then I'm go gonna go to prompt three. We're gonna do the same, and then we're gonna go to prompt four, and we're going to do the same. And I'm still yet to edit the next chapter that I'm going to send to my beta readers <laughs> to edit it, and I really need to do that today uh, I am out of time but I can do this I can do this I just need to keep writing <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and Instagram first and announce to my Insta fam that I will be holding a live Q&A session in honor of the 500 follower milestone that we hit on Instagram I do hope a lot of my writer friends would come. If they're not able, I totally understand that they have different things to do today. But I do hope most of them would be able to come and you know just ask questions and so we can talk, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead right into it. So I am currently warming up for the second prompt and what's different about this one is it's sci-fi and <laughs> I am nervous because this is gonna be about like like a person's soul or something and gonna be entering 
an alien's body and going back to that planet for you know that astronaut to be able to learn more about the society and everything and the best thing about this is the aliens will be having the characteristics of an octopus not physical not physical but um, they are but when you look at them they're like this hybrid human you know society but they have the ability to change into like an octopus kind of aliens when they are you know when they feel they're being attacked or they're being just you know disturbed and I have to research behavioral characteristics of octopus of an octopus this is going to be a challenge because that means I have to do research and when I do research for a story it actually takes three months and for me to do it today is I am trying to wrap my head around it I want to pants through it but I also need to know how an octopus lives you know so I just I'm not gonna take everything from an octopus you know I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get certain characteristics from an octopus and then I'm gonna incorporate that into my story and hopefully it will turn out good but right now I'm gonna go ahead and just do the dishes for a while I'm gonna go ahead and prepare for dinner and then I'm gonna go back and I do hope that when I get back I have a clearer image of what the story is gonna be and how I want the alien race is gonna be but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that <laughs> hi guys um, we just finished dinner I just finished my chores and my son is currently watching TV so um, I don't think I will be able to write tonight anymore my eyes are tired they really are <laughs> so yeah my eyes are tired and um, I think I'm gonna sleep in early tonight but before I sleep, I'm going to go ahead on Instagram and do the live Q&A session if there will be questions. <laughs> I'm going to do it a little bit early. I'm going to do it earlier because my eyes are really tired because I didn't get to sleep this afternoon. My brain wanted to sleep, but then when I was listening to music, something just happened and I wasn't able to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to do an early live stream on Instagram. I do hope some of my friends are already online right now. Um, but anyways, I'm not going to be able to do any more writing tonight. My eyes are just really, really tired. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope I, I am still entertaining you with this daily vlog thing. I'm actually happy that I'm doing this vlog because it's like recording my progress every day. And I do need like an accountability thing because sometimes when I don't do this, I just... I, I, I don't care. I, don't, I, I really don't care. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And hit the cute bell on the side to notify each time I post a video. Although during the whole month of October, I will be posting every day and as well as November. But you would still need that button in case I post bonus content. If there is a thing such as bonus content on this channel. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and share your thoughts during Preptober, Promptober, Vlogtober, whatever it is that you're calling October. <laughs> I would love to hear your thoughts, what you're currently doing, how's your word count, are you prepping, are you doing the prompts like I am, or are you just doing daily vlogs? You basically can do vlogs during prepping and prompt, so that's the same thing. <laughs> Do consider being a patron, it will help the channel grow and me during my writing journey. And also, I will be able to give you guys extra goodies like, you know, one-on-one -on -one conversations, you know, exclusive live stream for my patrons. You can request video topics and so much more. But I'd like to also say that whoever is watching this video right now, you watching this video is enough support. You leaving a like, leaving a comment, and sharing this to fellow writers such as yourself and me, it's enough support and I'm very very thankful for that. You're giving your time to watch this weak attempt of a video. <laughs> but anyways, that is all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Stay creative.